Hello and welcome, it's Bulldog Games here. Today I'm going to show you how to use Mixamo's animations with the UE4 character skeleton. Um, there's a couple of steps involved, so I'm going to walk through you as quick as I can and show you a detailed way of making this work. Now, on my screen, as you see, we have a free character here. If you type an adventure character on the e Epic Games Marketplace, you will get this man. Now, as long as it says that it's rigged, so any paid skeleton, anything, any paid character, anything like that, as long as it says it's rigged to the uh, Epic Skeleton, then we can use this, okay? Um, you can use this one. There's a few on here. So you've got military character silver, military dark, and then you've got obviously the stylist character here. Um, I'm actually going to use one from my own, which is do, 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 uh, the post-apocalypse character. Now I'm going to add, I've created a project here. I now need to save this product pro project. This is a third person template. I now need to save this. So when I go back to add this to project, I can find it. I can't even remember what I called it, my project, there you go. And I can add this to the project, okay? So while this is working, I'm gonna show you something. Now, if I click on this, I think I paid something like 15 pound for this character, maybe, okay? Um, it's from it's from my other game, my other game, Unreal. Uh, Unreal, uh, Overrun on Steam. Um, as you can see, it's from 4.8 to 5.1. This is scaled to the epic skeleton. Which tells me because it come out in 4.1, it's the mannequin skeleton. So what I need to do, um, everyone knows about Mixamo. I'm hoping this is where you can get um, characters. For example, there's quite a few on there, probably about 20 characters and a handful of animations. Now you can make this this character do any animation, but the problem is, is when you download from here, it downloads with a different skeleton. Okay, um, if you have bought an epic games uh, asset for example for a character then uh, you'll get the Unreal Engine skeleton which you're going to be able to use okay so what this is telling me is that this so what I need to do is I need to download a converter for this so if you go to Google and you type in oh Mixamo converter onto Google it comes up here Okay, click on the Mixamo converter, it's going to ask you to download from this icon here. Now, I've already done that. Once it's done, it's going to ask you to, let me go back to my documents. It's going, it's going to ask you to, yeah, it's, it's going, it's going to, uh, it's going to download this folder here. Okay, which then we're going to, we're going to right click and extract and it's going to open up this folder here it has an application in here so if we run this application this is what it's going to show us okay so if we left click it's going to open up another box and what we do we want to enter the conversion progress right so you can pick between what character so if you had a ue5 character uh, and you wanted to get an animation for quinn then you would use this and it will open up another box and there's the skeletons you use okay I know that this is um, uh, an official Unreal Engine 4 character, so I'm going to click on this, and it's going to give me the skeleton. Now I have that, I need to go back to Mixamo, and I need to upload character. Okay, just on the right here, find that, this one, and drag the skeleton of the mannequin into here. It's going to upload, it ain't going to take quite too long, but it's going to upload. Okay, so this is how we will get animations to work with our character. Okay, so while that's just processing, which is done now, it's gonna it's gonna show me once it's done. In here, we now should have the mesh of our character, and he has skeletons already. Okay, so we want the, uh, the SK full skeleton. This skeleton here is exactly the same. Prior to the eye key, foot and hand, root and blah, blah, blah. But the pelvis, spines, middle fingers, pinky fingers, blah, blah, blah. It's all the same as a Unreal Engine mannequin skeleton, okay? So let's quickly go back to Mixamo. It's done. So now if we click Next, it's going to load our character in here. Which means now 
we can play any animation from Mixamo. If we, oh God, let's just get this one. Okay, it's going to play loads of them. This one is okay. There we go. So this is going to now now Mixamo is using this skeleton. So if we went to download this, we need to that we don't need to that download it without skin, and keyframe reduction is uniform. Okay. Uh, FBX frame per second. Now, if we download this, it's going to download an asset, Silly Dance. Okay? What we now need to do is right click Showing Folder. We have now have it here. Okay? We now need to go on to the Mixamo and call it Incoming FBX. Okay? And any any animation that you download needs to come in it come into here okay it needs to come into the incoming FBX folder we can just minimize that and minimize that and open up the maximum converter again now we have done what we needed to do we need to export animations to folder incoming FBX okay so this oh, god hang on a minute so this What are you doing? So we're in the conversion progress. Right, here we go. So once you've added that into the folder, you scroll down and convert the animation. So silly dance here. We want to open the folder, the original option. Click here to convert. If we click here, the image is now converted. Okay? And if we click on this folder here, it's now our outgoing FBX silly dance. Which means that now with if we just move this over to my second screen for now and I'll open up Unreal Engine 5 and I'll pull out let's just find the third person blueprint let it load a minute hello thank you very much and we get rid of that and we pull this into here. So if we go back to the third map, I've opened that, go back to our character, meshes, we want to find the full body mesh here. Okay, and what we want to do, we want to drag him out onto here. Nope, sorry, we want to add it to here. So now, because that animation has been input, inputted, so what we're going to do, we're going to go back to character mesh, we're going to go back to our folder where the output of the FBX folder is. And pull this in. It's going to ask us. Skeleton. We now need to put that as the mesh skeleton for this. So SK full skeleton. Okay. So now that this animation here. If we open up our SK body. We can preview animation. Maybe. Did I, did I export that to the wrong one? I may have exported that to the wrong one. One second. So this outgoings, bring it in again, and let's find that skeleton. So you've got mannequin, skeleton, skeleton, mannequin, mannequin. It's going to be the mannequin skeleton, okay? Let that import, and if we double click on this, now we can see that the skeleton, the mannequin is doing this, okay? So this has come from Mixamo, and now it's on our mannequin in our third person. Normally, when you download an animation from Mixamo, it won't add to a mannequin on Unreal Engine because it says that the bone structure is wrong. So, on our body here, we should be able to preview the asset. Maybe I'm opening the wrong one, one sec. Right, go back to post mesh. We want the full man. Wish we had, wouldn't it? We've got the full man. Okay, well we've got def. So it's found them animations. It just hasn't found the the other animations. Which these now are the animations for the actual blueprint that we have. So can we find out what skeleton this has? So this has UE4 mannequin underscore skeleton. Okay, so go back to your content browser. 
post apocalypse right click this uh, re-import with new source right one second I'll drag that in again for some reason I'm having trouble finding the fucking skeleton for this so drag this in here the skeleton is saying that it's Oh, that's the SK mannequin. We want the UE4 mannequin skeleton. There we go. That's the reason why, because I was bloody picking the wrong one. So now if we go to save, go to full, preview animation, silly dance, UE4. There we go. So now we have this animation playing in our Unreal Engine from Maximo. So this is, a, this is how you convert a Mixamo animation to UE4 so I hope that helped it was a little bit back and forth I could probably do it a lot cleaner but I'm not gonna um, you sort of understand the uh, where I was going I'll put the link in the description to the Mixamo converter and I hope this helped if it did subscribe if you like the video hit the thumbs up and yeah if you have any issues please comment this is Bulldog Gaming thank you bye